thank you, thank you. Welcome, thank you. Welcome to Malarkey's. You're in for a real treat tonight because we have all the way from London, England, the IBM, that's International Brotherhood of Magicians, Gold Cups winner, an honor bestowed on very few people in the history of magic. And he's here to show you his brand of magic tonight. So let's have a huge round of applause for Mr. Steve Bedwell. All right. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks very much. I don't know what it's like over here, but in England, most people, when they think of a magician, think of a guy dressed as a clown performing a bunch of tricks at a kid's party. You see, it's about time people realize that close-up magic is a far more sophisticated form. <laughs> <laughs> Hi! <laughs> I'm sorry, I should have wiped it first. <laughs> Deborah, I have a question for you. I have a question for you. I have a piece of rope here. How long would you say this piece of rope is? Now, just estimate. Think of something of a similar length and compare. <laughs> <laughs> the guy not laughing over here. Excuse me, Deborah. <laughs> <laughs> Some people don't get it the first time. What can I tell you? Okay, here we are. Piece of rope. How long would you say this piece of rope is, Deborah? Five inches. Five inches. The question is, how long would you like it to be? <laughs> uh, let me, uh, seven and a half. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, I didn't assume you meant feet there, Deborah. <laughs> seven and a half inches. Here we go, just for your entertainment pleasure. I guess that's a bit too long. How about six feet? How would that do that's you? That's great. At this point. <laughs> Thank you for coming. <laughs> At this point, there's always... <laughs> Can we have a shot of this lady, please? She's doing a fine, fine job. Um, at this point, there's always some analytical type that wants to examine the rope. <laughs> like, I'm going to let them. <laughs> <laughs> but I, in fact, I'll show you another magic trick. And I'll tell you in advance exactly how it's done. You see, this other magic trick, I need a spare set of ends. And here they are. They go... Uh, Right about there. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, yeah. Like, you know they're there now, of course. But I, I explain what's going to happen. Deborah, what I want you to do is come up and tie me up. All right. <laughs> OK. In fact, welcome to the world, Steve Bedwell's world of escapology. <laughs> <laughs> yes! Much. <laughs> okay, Deborah, come and stand over here. Okay. I'm sorry, sorry, Peggy. Sorry to disappoint you, but yes, those were boxer shorts stuck down the front of my trousers. <laughs> I need, I need three things to make the magic happen. I need a piece of rope, beautiful assistant, sharp pair of scissors. I guess two out of three ain't bad. No, no. <laughs> No, the scissors okay. aren't very sharp. The scissors aren't very sharp. Now, look, this is about the center of the rope, isn't it? Yeah. You happy with yeah. that? Yeah, I'm happy. You see, because your, your happiness is really important to me, Deborah. Okay. <laughs> Take the scissors. Yeah. What I want you to do is cut the rope into two approximately equal pieces. Okay. In your own time. <laughs> what the hell is happening here? <laughs> ah, you got my finger! <laughs> no, I'm, I'm just kidding. Watch the ends. <laughs> okay. <laughs> your eyes go in different directions. Has anyone ever told you that? Watch. Because if you keep your eyes on the ends, you'll actually see the two pieces of rope fuse. Great. Bravo. All the people on this side, watch the end in my left hand. All the people on the right side, watch the end of my left hand. Deborah, which end would you like to watch? Left. OK, here we go. One, two, three. Ho! <laughs> Leaving me in the middle without any ends. But that's OK, because that's where the spare ends come in. Remember those? If I wind the spare ends around the middle, it doesn't actually have any ends. And give a blow, 
and a tug, you'll actually see them jump back on. Wonderful. Great.